thousands of hours of richly informative shows. Martha, no! I wondered, what could we do with all of these tapes? So, Martha, any people breathing? Ah! The very best solution... Throw it into the dump. ...was to give these tapes to my daughter, Alexis. Ah! Don't ever do that again. And her friend, Jennifer. I'm used to dealing with people like you. To see what they can come up with. Ooh. Ooh. Do you think your mom's gonna be mad at us? I hope so. <laughs> pine needles. Yeah. I'm telling you. What do you do with the pine needles? This needle? is where she's gonna sift them, like what do you mean, each sift individually. Them? What do you mean? She's gonna separate the wheat from the chaff. Except it's the pine needles. What's the point? From whatever else comes What's with it. What's the point? Well, uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> Is that banjo for sure? A program would be very interesting if it were called What the Heck is This? Do you have any idea what this contraption is? Well, Look at her dirty jeans. Of course, she's been working outside. Oh, yeah. On the property here at Skylands. Bruce, I would consider you a master of contraptions. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a giant raffle machine. Well, actually, it does. Uh, it looks like a bingo machine. We've worked here for a long time, and we've always had to clean needles. Four! And, uh, we say what kind of needles, not... Pine needles. Pine needles. Well, <laughs> see, from here, it's needles. Okay. You know, everybody knows. And, everybody uh, knows. In Maine. Way of doing it. And why clean needles, as Bruce says? Well, it's tradition here at Skylands, as it is in other parts of Mount Desert Island, to put clean golden pine needles on woodland pads. It's, it's nice, nice if you're barefoot. Too. Let's come up with jobs for more people. And then when it rains, there are little rivulets, and you have to sweep it and rake it all out. Let's get and more things It's a to little do. bit slippery it's sometimes. Ridiculous. But it's pretty. Pine needles aren't really dirty. They're just picked up, and they have all the debris of the woodland. They have leaves. They have pine cones. Oh, they've got nature from nature. Once they're dried, they're very beautiful. But if you wanted to lay those on your path, like we do here at Skylands, you wouldn't want all this debris in it. Then they're gonna get the debris from people walking unless you... No, there's no debris on the property because my dogs were there and one of them pooped and I wanted to get a stick to like spread the poop around so you couldn't see it. <laughs> no sticks, not a twig That's to great. be found. Right. Been picked clean. So this wonderful lady, Mrs. Dow, has a white pine forest around her house. So the needles fall off her tree. Is Mrs. Dow a relative of Mrs. Know. Dash? I don't know. Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> spread them out and let them make sure they're And Mr. Dry. Clean? OK. And it, so we'll show you how it works. This is very interesting. Wow, so I'm fascinated. And how much should you put in at a time? Just about that much? Yeah, well, you, you can put more. But if you put too much, then it doesn't work as well. Well, let's see your method. OK. And actually, we need to go rather slow. Let me ask you a question. What is the point of this segment? Does she really think that people are going to get this contraption? She wants to show off that she has such a fancy house yeah. that she has miles of pine needles. Right. Whatever that's called. This pathway. is a show off segment. It is. Well, they're looking pretty clean to me. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is. Let me this just is, see. Uh... This looks beautiful. It's just what I want on my pads. I can. Oh, there's a one tiny little pine cone. But You're fired. All. It works. It's ingenious. It's, it's a, ingenious. It's ingenious. <laughs> Cure cancer. Let's describe this now. Pine needle roller. To uh, just try to hold the bag open and stuff needles in at the same oh, time. Oh, so this is a bag clipped onto a. Well, it's an old plant pot. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. We cut the bottom out of it and, and put put some plastic pipe legs on it and. This oh, is ridiculous. Come up with a scoop. Yeah. They make that crap. It's a burlap sack. But it's the fact it's that he couldn't bag. figure out how to fill it. Yeah, how about a garbage can? With a bag in it and pull the bag pull out. Pull the bag out. Novel idea. In New York, we call it a good thing. In Maine, we call it a mean contraption. In this room, we call it a total waste of time. And bore, yeah. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, they only last a year. Every, at the end of every summer, they have rake them all up and compost them. Put the pine them. needles down, rake them up. Put them down, rake them up. And then you put up. them back down in the spring. Wow. Martha, what's your favorite thing about Valentine's Day? What? I bet the producer said to them, now ask Martha a question. Something like this. Cookie? Ask Martha a question and get a cookie. What? We're making hearts. What is it with you in the heart? I like love. I like love. I like happy feeling, love feelings. I like all that. What does the heart have to do with that? It's a symbol of love. 
Okay. Let's see what Martha does with a heart. To help me celebrate Valentine's Day, I invited my neighbor, Blaney. Look how pink everything is. Presents. Wow. Makes me happy. Good. Good. And her friend, Megan, to help me make some very special cards. So today we're going to... Megan's very um, nervous. Yeah. Melting ...with an iron crayons to make something a very... Blob? That doesn't look like a heart. Yes, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we're going to make our own Valentine's cards, stained glass Valentine's cards. Are making stained glass? Okay. And the idea is to end up with a card that looks like this. Your card. Oh, very nice. Like that. Not so much. Oh, that's cute. Again, just gently folding it because you don't want to see too Ours big Ours is already folded. Okay. Everybody knows how to cut out a heart. That's exactly the right approach. And I, as an adult, can cut with a nice, sharp X-Acto knife. And I'm going to use the X-Acto knife. actually traced some hearts, but these knives are not for children. Now, this is hard. Okay, mm -hmm. so now with see. the X-Acto oh, knife, it is. Perfect. Or it's not a perfect line. Mine so isn't either. Pink. That's why I don't like the X-Acto knife. It's crooked. Oh, perfect. Okay, you know what okay, I want to so do? Megan, what do you want to do? Hearts. This is going to be a very bad idea. That's great. What is it? Here's I'm going to write the word love. Sharp in pencils. Mm. Okay, so Megan, let's, let's see your hearts. Ah. Okay. That's Megan's great. heart sucked. So instead of your mother saying I can't great, and look at the your mother time. couldn't even make it up and say like, "Oh, good job." Your mother went, "Oh." You have a pencil sharpener. You can have a nice assortment of these crayons, any colors you want, to make a beautiful cloud burst of effect of stained glass. And Martha, what's your favorite thing about Valentine's Day? What? I bet the producer said to them, "Now ask Martha a question." Do you think they had little earpieces? No, I think they were instructed by an off-camera, like something like this. I've always had a good time at Valentine's Day. Cookie? <laughs> cookie? Ask Martha a question and you get a cookie. Yeah. Thank Another you. one. So you mix the colors and you want to sprinkle them on this side because then we'll fold that over. You're being my, oh, I really screwed up with my O because I should have done it with a thing inside. Oh, well. I picked up the same color. That's brilliant. So Blaney. Who do you give Valentine's to? Well, I think maybe to my baby cousin. Oh, who's that? Julia. And what about you, Megan? Who are you going to give it to? Um, I'm going to give it to my um, best friend, Julie. Oh, good. Yeah, not my friend who's sitting here. Well, what's your favorite thing? Because yeah. this friend dragged her onto the Martha show. You're being very adventuresome, Megan. In other words, those are some crappy colors, Megan. How'd you get those big things? Just keep twirling. No. Do a long twirl. We'll fold this in half, and I will do the ironing for you. Do you mind? Nope. OK. So see what I'm doing, girls? Look. Piece of brown paper, another piece of brown paper, so that the wax paper doesn't burn, and the iron is set on medium. Medium? Medium. Oh. <gasps> Not linen or silk. But medium. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. So let it cool just a tiny bit. I'll take yours. Are you going to melt it now? Mm-hmm. That's color. Isn't that great? I like this project. I love it. It's nice. It's fun. You gonna do this at home with the kids? No. You're gonna just mark with a pencil about oh, you need it about that big. Okay. So cut out around that circle. Bit of double you done? Where would you like to put your yep, I am I done. Like and you, how? Where would you like to put your hearts? Um, I like it like right here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Excellent. I'm not great with an iron. What do I do? I just press it down. Mm -hmm. That's it. For yeah. how long? You can pick it up and look. Okay. That looks beautiful, Alexis. Okay. Isn't that fabulous? Pretty. Don't you love it? Okay, so put a little bit of double-sided tape. A little piece here. A little piece here. A little piece there. Uh, for sure. Does that fit? Yes. Beautiful. Here's a piece of tape. Happy you. Valentine's Day. Everything oh, dies. You have major oh. issues. <laughs> oh, where's my center? I forgot to put the center in. Well, crap. And this is a very nice project for children of all ages, including adults. I, I hate you. that okay. expression. I know. It's rough. There, better. Happy Valentine's Day. You have to tape it. Screw you.
All right, the thing about this exercise <laughs> is that there's no perfect answer. You failed, Martha. Failed. F. Be sure. Creativity. I'm not that creative. Is it something you can learn, or is it something you have to be born with? I think you have to be born with it, and then it has to be... You have to feel right. like you can use it in some way. You might never know to use it, but... You are creative. You're creative in your baking, in finding something to make. That's your creativity coming out. I'm not creative at all in that way. I'm creative in the song and dance. Are you? You make up songs and dance? Yes. Dances? Yes. Really? Just at home. I mean, not for anybody else to be a part of. Well, then how but do you like know you're creative? Maybe you're just That's just crappy. It doesn't matter if you're crappy. You can be creative and crappy. Oh. Our guest today is Twyla Tharp. She's no nice stranger hairdo. to creativity. She's a big deal, Twyla Tharp. Huge. Yeah, very famous choreographer. She's known internationally for the modern ballets that she's created. <laughs> That's my interpretation. Because of the sex, my the creative sex shows she puts on? Of her sex show. <laughs> and, coincidentally, Twyla Tharp went to Barnard College and graduated the same year that I did. Oh, do you think Which they were friends? Even Not even kind of. Did they meet? Doubt it. We really didn't see each other more than in passing at Barnard. Our class wasn't that. What is with the rocking? Well, I was Doing your there. dance. I certainly She just wants to move. Mm -hmm. It's like when you sing all the time. I like to sing. See how annoying it can be? It is very hard to write about. How I think she needs something to sedate her a little bit. Or just Ritalin to focus you. Something. Give us some hints about what we should do to stimulate our own creativity. The very first exercise of some 30 in the book is don't leave home without your pencil, which is a very simple story. It's about a young boy who always wanted Willie Mays' autograph, goes to the ball game, runs into Willie Mays. <laughs> Willie Mays says, give me your pencil. You she need a Sharpie, it. not a pencil, Twyla. Oh. You don't get an autograph and a pencil because no. then it could get erased. We've heard about thinking outside of the box. How do we go about doing that? Well, first we have to have the box. They both have the box. I think that when we were... How many piles do you want? All of them. Good girl, take them. Okay. Now, just take them. them around any which way. Good. Okay, and then what? Put them on the table. Excellent. Okay, get to work. <laughs> you have not much time, uh, so make it configured. Martha, be creative now. You see, I'm orderly. Okay. I want all my quarters together. I want my dimes together. Okay, now as you're doing this right away, I'm going to jump ahead and say, fine, that's a beginning. She didn't say, Martha, play banker. And say, fine, play bank that's teller. A beginning. Now let's have a new modus operandi, a whole new paradigm here. Me, do something new? Yeah. Okay. She just wants lots of money. Okay. She's no dummy. She's going to take all the high-level change. Okay. This now you've moved no into nails. depth. I thought Martha was a creative person. Martha's got a gift <laughs> for stacking change, <laughs> yeah. for counting money. We make change. Still obviously maintaining camps here. Let's think. Oh, so bigger. now I should mix together. I should you mix quarters bigger. with dimes. Scary and proposition, with right? She's so uncomfortable with the concept. Yeah, nice. She doesn't get it. Really? I think it took her till now. Now she thinks she didn't like it. Let's keep going. She's, no, she can't do it. Even I could do this, sort of. I would have mixed them up enough for her to shut up. Are you happy with this configuration? Oh, I don't know. How would it please you more? Put it in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. It was all about the money for her there. I told you. If you get a check and you don't deposit it that very minute, she, she gets very angry. All right, girl, go. Okay. Oh, well, I see. I find this disorderly. Right. I'd rather now. have it in my drink because I love lemon water. Okay. This, this lesson is going nowhere. She hates Twilight. She's putting all the lemon in. Right. There you go. Okay, that, that's it. Now, what did you just do? I made a movement. Yeah. She made a bowel and movement? You. All right, the thing about this exercise <laughs> is that there's no perfect answer. People are afraid to fail. You failed, Martha. Failed. F. In the book, on page 22. Read these five okay. big fears. And these are your fears? Look at her. I'll admit to being insecure. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, people will laugh at What do you me. think she smokes, Twyla? Something. Yeah. Holy crap. Can I get some? Four, I will upset someone I love. That's why we're so fond of chows. Five, once executed, the idea will never be as good as it is in my mind. That is to say... This is a major bestseller. <laughs> never live up. It's uh, 
page after page of really inspiring ideas and lots of great insight that Twyla Tharp, uh, our leading choreographer in America today, has. This is so not a Martha segment. It's so deep. It is. Martha doesn't do deep. No. No way. Thank you. Thank you. It's great. Good luck. Thank you. you they too. were like oil and water. Yes. Those two do not They mix. hate each it's other. It's like Twyla says one thing and Martha says you're wrong. And Martha says one thing and Twyla says you're wrong. Those two were like, yeah. they, they could never. It just but they both work. went to Barnard. Right, and they're both genius at what, they're, what they do. But those two genius need not hang out. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> My mother used to wear clogs and an apron to school. She'd be picking me up for dentist or something, and I'd just go, what yeah. are you wearing? Oh, shut up and get in the car. Are you easily embarrassed? Not easily, but I... Even though I can't think of an embarrassing moment sure. right this second, right. I will be just be walking down the street, and I'll go, oh, my God. God, it stays with me forever. Right, it doesn't stay with me forever, but I can get easily embarrassed. Really? Yes, and when I get embarrassed, I blush. Okay. Like crazy. It's so bad, because you start to blush, and you feel it, so you get more embarrassed that you're blushing. So you get more embarrassed that you're blushing because you're blushing. I don't have a particular it's just like blushing vicious. problem. vicious. Oh, you're lucky. It's terrible. The, one day I was walking in the grocery store, and I had Two things of cottage cheese and something else balanced, like, and I was yeah. using my chin to balance it and carrying something else. And I saw this cute boy you at blushed? the register, and I dropped everything. Uh huh. And I was totally not embarrassed. I was like, I mean, I thought it was hysterical. I would have blushed because I thought he was cute. Oh. Yeah, that would make me blush. It all makes really? me blush. Really? Uh huh. When I was a kid, I used to get tortured by my friends. You and Keith, the, you know, it's terrible. Has your mom ever embarrassed you? Oh, when I was a kid, I hit. Oh my God! Of course, like how? Mother is well, how? embarrassing. I can't wait till you become embarrassing. I don't They're think just I... not. Oh, they haven't gone through hormone changes, Jennifer. They are going to be embarrassed by you. Well, I've learned. Hold on. I did. We know the story where I ran on the baseball field because my son got hit with the ball, and then I got yelled at by everyone. Mm -hmm. Get off the field! And I almost you got stupid banned. Cow. You stupid cow! I almost got banned from games. Because you just can't do that to your son. That's horrible. He was fine. He didn't need his mommy running out. <laughs> My mother used to wear clogs and an apron to school. Hot. It actually was hot. Okay. But I just thought it was the most embarrassing thing. Right. When I was in fifth sure. grade, I, or fourth grade, I'd be walking down the hall. She'd be picking me up for dentist or something, and I'd just go, <laughs> what yeah. are you wearing? Oh, shut up and get in the car. I'm talking to this friend of mine, and I noticed on her Facebook page this picture of her from high school. She looks nothing like herself. Nothing? No. And it's scary. And so I told her that because it's now 20 that... years ago and she's adorable. Now there's no, it's But then not like, so much? It's like, ah! Like, you know? Mm -hmm. She was mortified. But why did she put the picture up? I don't know, and she's super embarrassed by it. That's what people on our blog, if I'll post a picture of myself, they're like, you're disgusting and right. you have really big ears. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I know After my ears. After all my, my life, right. I know how big my ears are. I know what they look like in pictures. I posted the picture myself. Right. And if you think that's going to piss me off, it's not it just work. doesn't work. Right. Uh -huh. Or embarrass me. I, you can't right. embarrass me about that. Right, because otherwise... Really, you anything on my body, you can't... I'm you know who you are. I've had it for a long right. time. And you know who you are, and you wouldn't put it up if you weren't comfortable with who you are. Right. Yeah. Why does it take me eight times as long as Martha? Because she knows in advance what she's doing. There you go. Look how cute the Look how cute dummy this is. double minnow Look how cute this is. lure is. Look how 350 cute. to 400. It's very cute. Thank you. This is Fishing Lore and Collectibles 2nd Edition. 